Investing is similar to marathon training. It calls for perseverance, discipline, long-term thinking, and the ability to balance risk and safety. Every wealthy person invests by principles that have been tried and true over many years of investing. So in this video, I'll share the 5 investing rules that every wealthy person adheres to. But before that, if you're new to this channel, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos. So without further ado, let's get started. Rule number 1. Remove yourself from your investing efforts. Most people think that if you work harder, you make more money. At his age, though everyone should know better, yes, you do have to work hard. But as the saying goes, everything has its time. And sometimes, if you want to do well as an investor, you need to step away from your investments. For example, to get better returns than the market as a whole, you need to time your investments almost perfectly. But it is nearly impossible to time the market. Even if you know a lot about the stock market, have the best technical indicators and easy-to-use trading tools, and went to the most expensive school, trying to time the market could cost you. Also, making contributions automatically now and then can be counterproductive because there is a fee for every trade. Even if you don't pay commissions, you still have to pay regulatory fees. In the end, the more active you are, the higher your expense ratio will be for your investment portfolio. You should keep an eye on your investments and make changes as needed. But active trading and balancing a portfolio are not the same thing. How to deal with portfolio diversification is another thing that tends to get investors worked up. If you don't have enough kinds of investments in your portfolio, you could lose a lot of money quickly, and it might be hard to get it back. But if you have too many stocks in your portfolio, it's impossible to keep track of each one. So the investor starts to worry about how to find a good balance. Investing when you're stressed is never a good idea if you want to spread your money around. So what am I saying? Don't leave. In this video, I'll explain more. This rule is not an excuse to be lazy. It's just a way to save energy and not get so caught up in the trades that you forget. Big picture, you might want to use the 5% rule in every part of your investing plan. The rule says that you shouldn't put more than 5% of your total investment money into a single asset and no more than 5% of your total investment money into a group of high-risk assets. But it just means that you should diversify. On a bigger scale though, it means not putting too much into anything. So, sometimes it's best to stop actively trading and focus on something else. Rule number 2. Play the long game. Many people are worried about their finances because of what's been happening in the market lately. But if you're an investor with a long-term plan, you can rest easy knowing that you're on the right track to achieving your goals. For the long game to pay off, you have to invest in companies that are stable and make money. When you invest in quality the right way, you don't need to accumulate a lot of weaker investments. Stocks with good indicators tend to be less volatile and pay off over a longer time. For example, let's say that JL Enterprises only has 15 to 20 stocks in its investment portfolio. If these 15 to 20 stocks are well evaluated, meet the strict criteria, and can be bought at a good price, the long-term profit potential is unlimited. You need to find out what makes some companies stand out from the rest. This could be because of their history of growth, their large cash reserves, or something else. You can count on these assets when the rest of the market drops, even though it might be hard to stay steady when the market drops. But you can rely on an investment strategy that aims to minimize risk and maximize long-term gains. Trust me, you'll sleep better at night knowing that short-term volatility won't make or break your financial future. Next, investing over a long time is a very good way to make money because it lets you take advantage of interest. When an investor reinvests his or her profits, he or she is pushing the capital to grow even more. 
when you start investing early and keep it up for a long time, your assets and eventually your wealth will grow. With time, a small investment at first can turn into a large amount of money. Rule number three, use volatility to your advantage. Even experienced investors face significant challenges from the market, and I have a sneaking suspicion that some of the novices among us are feeling the effects as well. Nevertheless, you need to comprehend volatility and make the most of it. First things first, you must commit to learning how to manage market volatility as soon as possible so that the boogeyman under the bed isn't always there. The truth is that accepting the hoops and whirls is preferable to letting go of the ongoing fear of them. At the very least, you will be able to sleep better at night. What kind of trading you do greatly influences how you handle volatility. An investor who sells credit spreads will adjust more successfully than swing traders. What works for one kind of trader might not work for another. As a result, you must alter your perception of what is typical. The advantages you enjoy today could disappear tomorrow due to the increase in two-sided action. Rule number 4. Regularly review your investment performance. You'll need to use several different ways to measure performance to see how well your investments are doing. The steps you take will depend on the information that is most important to you and the kinds of investments you make. For example, if you own a stock that you want to sell quickly for a profit, you're probably most interested in whether or not its market price is going up, staying the same, or going down. But if you're a buy-and-hold investor, you'll be more worried about how much the stock will be worth in 10 or 25 years. Most likely, you'll be more interested in whether or not it has a history of growing profits and seems ready to grow in the future. On the other hand, a conservative investor or someone who is getting close to retirement will care most about the income their investments can bring in. You might want to compare the interest rates on your CDs and bonds to the rates on the market right now. You should also look at the yield of the mutual funds and stocks you buy to get income from them. If market rates are going down, you may be unhappy with your chances of reinvesting as your bonds grow. You might also be tempted to buy investments with a lower rating if you think you could get a higher return. So, if you want to be a smart investor, you should keep track of how your investments are doing. Rule number 5. Learn more about investing every single day. You have to invest to get a lot of money. And the first and most important thing you can do is learn something new every day about investing. The truth is that you can make a lot more money if you put your money to work every day instead of just going to work every day. You might want to know more about investing but don't know where to start. People often think that learning about investing is a hard task, which is understandable. But you should know that you are already ahead. If starting to invest is one of your main goals for the future, you should do some research before putting your money in the stock market. When I want to learn something new, I usually start with a good book written by a well-known author. I think that reading a book about the basics can help you build a strong foundation. If you want to learn the basics of investing in the stock market, you can start by reading Jason Kelly's book, The Neatest Little Guide to Stock Market Investing. There are, of course, a lot of other great books on the stock market out there as well. In the same way, make sure you do your research before choosing a book. Be sure to ask family and friends for advice and to take it. Also, don't forget to look at what other people have said. Signing up for online courses is another good way to learn about any investment you want. When you take an investing course, you can go at your own pace and take as much time as you need to understand what you're being taught. A good investing course can help you figure out what you want to do with your money and how to get there. A stock market simulator is a program that acts like the stock market. It's a stock market simulation game that lets you practice investing. Before using one of these simulators, you should learn the basics of investing. I tried one of them years ago, and I didn't understand the basics, so I was completely lost. 
once you know the basics, a little self-education will go a long way. If you want to learn more advanced ways to invest, a good forum can help you do that. When you join forums, you can talk to other investors, read about their strategies, and ask questions if you have any. Just make sure you do your homework to join a good forum with good information. And that's it for this video. Before you go, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and see you next time.